Recently, IP Exchange hosted a webinar with Ublox, Morse Micro, and Gateworks about building a robot. It was Adam, another engineer at IP Exchange, who hosted this, not me, and we'll have a link down in the description where you can watch it. But hey, the whole crew who was on it is currently here at Embedded World, so maybe we should go talk a little bit more about it with them. We've got one of the biggest lineups that we've ever seen on IP Exchange. Six gentlemen sitting in chairs, oriented in a half circle. This is brilliant. What a great way to start it. You are the man who has designed this robot that we're here to talk about today. Great, yeah. I'm what is Blake, its purpose? I'm Blake Stewart. I'm with Dateworks, and this robot right here is to show the capabilities of accelerating autonomous mobile robot development. We brought together some of the highest end technology out there. We have centimeter level GNSS technology from Ublots. We also have long range sub gigahertz Wi Fi from Morse Micro, all sitting on our Dateworks Linux boards, which hosts an IMX 8MP, a very powerful processor, has neural vision processing. We brought that together with different sensors here. Yeah. It all comes together on one comprehensive platform on the robotic operating system to show the capabilities of leveraging open source hardware, how you can put in rugged environments and just make things quick to the application phase and get out of the lab. I mean, that is a really, really cool form factor. What, do, what sort of uh, applications do you see this getting into? So. The, Autonomous mobile robots, one of the things about this is it can be outdoors. That's what one of the things Gateworks really wants to show yeah, here is that outdoor hardware, hardware that's robust and can um, do mission planning outdoors. This right here with U-Blocks, we can get our two centimeter, uh, with two centimeter locations, we can do mission planning for um, mapping services, some agriculture. You can put this onto a drone. It doesn't have to be specifically a four wheeled robot can do anything from industrial um, plants, outdoors, it can do military purposes even. It's, it's, the possibilities are endless, and that's why I wanted to showcase bringing together all these cool technologies into one place. I like it. So this is meant to go outdoors? Yes, this right like here it. can go outdoors. I took off the hood. I was going to say, it looks yeah. IP69, perfect. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> without, without any of the enclosures, it is not, but I wanted to showcase all the insides and all what it can do. Well, I'm liking your design. I think we should hear from the people who contributed the parts to design it. So what has each individual contributed from your company to create this? Shall we start? Sure. Yeah, I can start. So working for NXP Semiconductors, it's as, as was mentioned, it's based on the an 8M plus application processor. Um, as a semiconductor company, obviously, we're looking at developing products that can drive a whole range of end products. Robotics is one of them. But really, we're a component supplier that is bringing the brains of the operation. But we need companies like Gateworks that can take our technology and build around it and build a solution. So we can put great IP into it. So in terms of pure processing power, neural processing units that can drive edge AI. But really, that is all just potential until companies like Gateworks and Ublox and Morse Micro build upon it to build an application that is applicable to the growing segment of robotics. Brilliant. Yeah, and I also was the NXP, so of course the 8M Plus, as Robert just mentioned, is a is a great platform for this outdoor robot. In, in particular, I'm really excited about the, the form factor you put it into, using the PCIe slots, the N.2 slots, yep. and again, combining uh, connectivity, processing, the camera vision, uh, and everything together. So it's it's a really well-done robot, great, great effort there. Right? Yeah. So Arno, I'm working for Ublox. At Ublox, we have been working since 25 years on, on positioning, and since about 10 years, our goal is to democratize high precision. And this is typically an application where 10 years ago, it would not have been possible to make such a solution at such a price point. So with our technology, our last modules, like F9 and the future F20X20, will really enable such application to become alive. The robot is able to know where it is at any time of the day with a precision down to centimeters. And as it extends to this hardware, you need, you need to get some correction data from satellites to really get down to the precision. And it's also something we propose. So the module is rather plug and play. The service which goes with it is also uh, supported for, for the customer. To the connectivity of our colleagues, for example, you can really get down the, the, the data to that. So we provide the, the full positioning solution to give access to centimeter position, which allows the robots to really control itself and become autonomous. So it will drive from A to B by itself, thanks to the positioning of Ublox. And I'm Xander with Morse Micro. 
what we bring to the party is connectivity. So when you have a device like this that is out wandering around, either in an industrial environment or outdoors, you're getting beyond the range of conventional Wi-Fi. Uh, as Wi-Fi technologies advance, they've been going faster and faster at shorter and shorter ranges. Wi-Fi Halo is the opposite. We're stretching out the range a little bit lower bandwidth than, than you know the latest Wi-Fi 7, Wi-Fi 8, but you can get out of a building, you can get through concrete walls, and you can get out across a facility. Uh, so if you imagine this in an industrial environment that's full of metal racking, we can get signal through that and get connectivity to it. Uh, the autonomy that this has means that it's not reliant on a, a, a lot of connectivity, but it does need some. And particularly as, as AI and ML advance, you're sending less data back because you're able to make more decisions at the edge. But someday you're going to have to update that model. And so you need the bandwidth to be able to get, you know, get an update out to it. So we've got many people from many different families coming together to produce something great like this. Did they pay you to make this? I was paid. I was paid half. You were yeah. paid? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I, was, I was hoping you said no, because I want to ask a question about why. What, what, what has this been built to prove? Well, well, I will say I did have a little bit of autonomy in being able to choose the type of project I want to do, because I was told that we have these products, and I said I want to be able to showcase a practical example. I mean, without the robot itself, Gateworks, we provide the solutions to be rugged in these platforms that all these guys can come build on top of. And I said, we have a bunch of documentation on how to build singular parts of this. How do we integrate you know, location data? How do we integrate GPS data? But that uh, an end consumer, they have their own products which they want to put this into. It becomes a lot easier to do um, with practical examples. How do you bring together all this data? So we, we brought together all this data to show a practical example, like an engineering application of what you can do with all of these products and especially why, why an autonomous outdoor mobile robot? Because we have the critical technologies, specifically newer edge technology we, um, with the IMX 8MP. We can do processing on the edge with robots. Typically robots you'll see are handled by a human or they have, um, yeah, they have human control. But now we're able to have robots that use vision processing with a robotic operating system and make their own decisions. They send back telemetry and they can do their own mission planning. And I thought, that was such an interesting topic I hadn't seen done before. I want to yeah. bring together these products and show, you know, with modern technology, what can we do with it? That's awesome. As a designer, what's next? Have you got something else planned after this? We are planning on it and making it potentially, you know, flying. That's the next Fly? Yeah, I, I, by I God, know. man, it's got wheels. I, I know, exactly. <laughs> I think that the future, in this case, for um, this product, even this is more of a demonstration product and application example, I think that all of this technology can exist just as well in the air. There's nothing to hear about keeping this on the ground. I think it's really interesting. What can we do in the space of bringing together, you know, medium range drone applications, you know, with our, with um, Halo and, you know, you get three kilometers and above for how fast or how good this Wi-Fi is. And it's not relying on traditional long range protocols. I think that opens up an entire new space and it's, we're looking to explore all of that. Amazing. We've got a full webinar where we fully delve into this topic. That's with Adam, the other engineer at the exchange. If you'd like to watch it, give us your email and we'll send a ride to you. Gentlemen, thanks very much for being part of this semicircle today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep.